Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. I've got a couple more Vetter holsters. And these holsters are their ProTuck. And the interesting thing about these is they're designed for an area of holster draw that a lot of people like to do, but doesn't get as much attention from holster manufacturers. And that's the four to six o'clock position on your back. There seems to be a much smaller diversity of holsters available for that position. And if that's the way you like to carry, Vetter's has got you covered. So all the guns that we're going to handle are safety checked and cleared by both of us. There's no ammo or magazines with ammo anywhere near the table. So I'm not going to waste time opening up every time I pick one up. But what I've got here is I've got a holster for the Glock 43. And these are available in a very wide diversity. All the usual ones, the manufacturers that people make holsters for. And also quite a few in this particular line that seem to be far less common. Sky and FN and Steyr. There might be popular common guns, but it seems to be less common to actually find holsters for them. They tend to be a little more difficult to find holsters for, especially in the small of the back, four o'clock, six o'clock position. This is available in either draw. These holsters are set up that you can get them with an assortment of different lights and lasers. And one interesting thing is, is on the Glock, now this one doesn't happen to have it, but the Glock, there's a Crimson Trace laser guard that you can get that gives you laser capability around the trigger guard. And there's a button here, so when you grab the gun in a proper grip, it turns the laser on automatically, so you no know, switches. Very rare to find a holster that'll support that. This particular line, they actually have of options to get support for that laser guard not just in the Glock but the few other uh, guns that they make it for because on these smaller Glocks they tend not to have a rail so that's the only way you get a laser so it's actually cool you can get support for that laser guard on this line as well as getting support for TLR and Olight and a lot of the other popular light manufacturers additionally as you can see with this Hellcat that's sitting here the Springfield Armory Hellcat you can get it where it's set up to allow a red dot and basically what they do is this gets cut straight here as opposed to having a bit of a curved cut which I'll put the gun in it so you can actually see the difference it's got a bit of a curved cut as opposed to being straight so curved on this side straight on this side where my thumb is you can see and that's that's the difference between the optics cut and the regular cut the regular of cut of course kind of gives you a little bit more body protection but would block an optic. So it's a checkbox to check and you can get it with an optic, optic ready. And that's available in pretty much any of the guns that they support in this holster. So that's kind of cool. I could actually get light and laser support or light or laser support with this line of holsters. A few of the other features that become particularly important in that particular carry position is the clips are adjustable. So I can adjust the ride height. I can also adjust a little bit of the cant of which way I want the gun to lie. And you'll see that this is horsehide leather. They offer it in regular black leather and then tan horsehide, which gives you a little bit of comfort because this is gonna be up a part of your body that does tend to sweat. So rather than having hard kydex up against you, you've got leather up against you. And all of their hardware is both corrosion resistant as well as being rounded and smooth. There's nothing sharp. There's nothing sharp on any part of this holster. Even if I go around all these edges and I rub my finger up against them, they're all kind of blended and at melted edges. There's nothing, even on the clips, these are metal clips, nothing is sharp edges. You also can get, with this particular holster, you can get the option of J clips and V clips. And basically what they are is they're different style clips that allow you to get a much deeper retention. And I just noticed I had the wrong holster in my hand when I was talking about the leather. So this is the black leather, and that's the tan horsehide. So both, I've got the two holsters here with the two different styles of leather. I'll bring this one into view that you can choose from. Either one of them is going to be comfortable on, on your body, and they're the unfinished side up against you so that they won't, they'll actually potentially absorb the sweat and allow it to dry rather than just pooling up on your body. Colors, they've got two pages of colors. And not only do these two have two pages of colors, this particular holster actually allows you to have a different color for the top and bottom shell. So you could have a black top shell and a red back or whatever variation you wanted to do by just choosing from the menu. And it truly is two pages. If you go to their website, you know, there's a bunch of squares of the various different colors. 
and there's literally two pages of colors to choose from. Retention is adjustable. There's a screw that allows you to adjust retention. So all of the adjustability to make this comfortable, and I started to talk about those J and V clips and got distracted by my mistake with the leather. What they allow you to do is get deeper conceal to hide the clips more, get the gun potentially lower down in and hide it better, which it can be a bit of an issue when you're trying to put a gun on your back. That tends to be an area that can be harder to hide, especially because you usually don't have the luxury of your arm hanging down and things like that to obscure the view of it. So being able to get different clips, and you can, you can order them with the holster, and they would come as additional clips, so you'd still get these clips, gives you that flexibility to kind of tune this thing however you need to to keep it hidden. I'm going to cut in some footage of me actually drawing from this. Now, one kind of an important note, I rarely carry this way. My preferred carry is either pocket or strong side. So for people that like to carry this way, they're going to look at it, and they're going to say I'm kind of clunky at it. That's not the holster, that's me. I don't carry this way, so I haven't spent time refining my draw. So hopefully I'm not too clunky at it, but if, if it does look a little bit clunky, trust me, it's not the holster, it's me. This holster is actually not very expensive for such a high quality holster with leather inserts on it. The base price on it's around 90, and then as you see it configured, this one would be that 90 price. This one would add $5 to add on the fact that you've got the optics cut and the horsehide leather is another $5. So depending on what options you choose, you might get a little bit over 100 but the basic holster, as you see it, especially this one without the optics cut and the black leather would be a $90 holster. I've had other holsters in that price range that didn't have half the features that this one does, especially when you get into the smoothness and the refinement. They actually make sure that they spend time ensuring that this holster is comfortable. Nothing's worse than buying a holster and then having to spend an hour with a file trying to get all the burrs and edges off it. That's not something you're going to do with this one. Beyond that, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell up there to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Gatter, Rumble, pretty much everywhere. And thank you, vetters, for sending us these holsters to do a review on. Have a great day.